Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2, stupid character. We're in the den, and we've just uh, destroyed all the slavers with Ugo. Well, Ugo has destroyed them. And we've gotten Vic, which is quite interesting. Let's talk to him, actually. What we do now, boss? Urg. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was stupid enough to think that uh, Ugo would have something to talk about with this guy. <laughs> okay, never mind. Right, let's uh, let's just double check the den to see if there's anything we can do. Over here. Actually, no. You know what? I'm not going past those bloody thieving kids. And unfortunately, we can't really get them off the streets because we're too stupid to do that. Well, we're on the um. We're on the hunt for XP, and there's really nothing over here we can do. Hmm, I'm thinking, is there anything in Vault City? We could get the car, but in the end, it would just result in a lot of Mentats usage. Because we need, you know, we need to get a few quests done in order to get that um, thing from Gecko. We need to start the car. He would need a super toolkit which we already sold, so that would be easier easier done, but, well, we've sold it. To get the super toolkit, we would need to do something for that woman in Vault City and get her some tools and a wrench. So we would need to go there, use Mantats there, then use Mantats over here, then use Mantats in the den to get the car. So, I, I mean, we're sort of towards the end of the game anyway, so I don't think it's really worth it. Now, what I'm going to do now is probably try to get some good random encounters over here that we can, uh, you know, we can get, and, uh, ooh, a group of slavers attempting to enslave some people, so that's a slave, does she have a, yeah, she's got a pipe rifle, that's a slaver, that's a slaver, that's a slave, and that's a slave, so it's these two we need to kill, yeah, if we can get some good encounter, oh, bloody hell, I didn't even notice there's so many of them, What's this one? Slaver. Okay, so quite a few slavers, actually. Can we actually hit this guy properly in the head? I don't think it actually matters. He's probably gonna be dead immediately. And he will be. Bye! <laughs> How much do they have, these guys? Slaves have 50, slavers have 60. Oh, hey, not too bad. Come on, slavers. Hey, don't you go for Vic. I don't think you're going to like this. <laughs> Wait, that's two slavers then, right? That's a slaver and that's a slaver. Okay, so we need to get over there and rescue those slaves. No, that's nice. People not nice. No. Bloody hell. 34 and 29, that's much more like it. No, it's too late to run. No, don't move. I can't catch up and then hit you. Bang! 28, yeah, that's pretty good. Slave was hit for three hit points. Hey, you have a knife, slave, and that guy has nothing. So just, you know, stab him or something. Ah, crap, they're still running about. So that is... She has... Doesn't tell me if that's a slaver or a slave. Yeah, that's the slaver. And I can't actually get to her. Can I? What, what the hell is going on? Come on, stab him, slave. I have better things to do. Ah, oh, well, you know what? This is too annoying. They just keep running about. I just wish I could end the bloody... Where is the damn it exit? I just want to hear your bones cracking. <laughs> that slave is just standing there. Okay, I'm gonna save that slave and then I'm gonna go. This is really not worth our time over here to try and get some XP. But uh, in the end... Yeah, I don't think we're, we're really gonna get to level 24 to get the Slayer perk. I mean, it would be awesome, but hmm, don't think that's really gonna work, to be completely honest. Bang! <laughs> Ow, th th so awesome. 29 hit points. Okay, and he goes for us. Excellent. Troublemaking scum! Really? You say that to someone in power armor? Okay. Bye. Damn. Let's see where he's gonna slide. Oh, that was a bit disappointing, actually. He didn't slide, f slide far at all. I'm gonna take his one coin. Ha! <laughs> Alright, now. We need some proper... Yeah, look at that. That was 240 XP. That was... Pff, nothing. 
Yeah, this is quite a dangerous area over here already, so we have to be careful. Um, but Vic will probably die, I'm thinking, because he's he doesn't have the armor. We could actually go to San Francisco and get him some of that Brotherhood power armor. Or, if we would feel uh, lucky, we could go to Navarro and try to do stuff there. I wonder if he if he can use the uh, if he can use energy weapons. That would be quite good. Ah, oh, I should have gone to Klamath and tried to get. Uh, oh, I gotta be so careful here. There's enclave patrols which can uh, kill us rather quickly. Hmm. Yeah, I should have gone and see if I can get uh, Solik. A war party. Leave our land, and then he runs away. Okay. Fair enough. I'm, I'm gonna skip the turn to see. Hey! See, these ones are smart enough. You know, they just run away because they know they're in bloody trouble. Alright. So, yeah, I'll go to. Oh, damn it. An enclave hunter. No, 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 no. Uh, let's go to Klamath and try to get Solik. He would be quite good for us. We don't have another super sledge. Great spirits of fire curse you. Oh yeah, wait a second. There's another village over here that Solik would probably tell us about, right? A tribal village. I forgot about that. So let's get out of here. And let's see if we can... I think that a stupid character can uh, recruit Solik. But I'm not exactly sure because the first time we tried, it didn't really work out, did it? Hmm. So... This is good, we're now in safe territory. This is low-level territory over here. And we'll get that, we'll get Solik. Uh-oh. A band of robbers. Nah, I can't be honest. These are not going to be a lot of XP, and Vic will probably get killed anyway. Okay, excellent, only one is moving. That's excellent, I thought we would have to wait for all of them. A royal. We could go to the toxic caves, but we can't get uh, the generator repaired to get down into the basement. It would be nice, but yeah, I doubt we can do it. It's sort of a high level area. Ooh, some farmers defending against some geckos. Bloody hell, there's two kids. Who's this guy? Villager. Man, let's help them. Who got see you trouble? Who got who got smash? Wait, that's not the right voice. Who got smash? That's the right voice. That's a pretty big pile of burning something in, in the middle there. That's a huge campfire. Ow! Armor's kid was hit. We need to save him. Who go save Kuti Kuti? Bloody hell. That's what he says, right? Oh man. That was excellent. Oh, can I get another shot in? Probably not. No, I can't. Damn it. Run, kid. Run. And then... A tough little gecko. I believe that when we uh, when we dispose of these geckos, the farmers will just say, <laughs> "Can't get me." Yeah, right. You say that to a gecko. The farmers will just tell us to piss off. Holy crap! He's actually closer to the kid now. I gotta get the silver gecko, the normal one. But damn it, I'm just a poor farmer. Oh, are you? You guys are not gonna defend your kid over there? Cause he's right there. The gecko's gonna eat him. Oh damn, this guy's not dead yet. Come on. I need to finish this. Ah, you bastard. I'm gonna fall behind this gecko. I need to catch up with him. Come on, kid. Run this way. Uh oh. That's not good. Now the gecko's gonna move again. Ah, oh, damn it. These geckos are really fast. Kid, stop moving! You're just making it worse. Can I get... Yes, I can. <laughs> well, if the gecko decides to attack the kid now, he's going to attack him. But I think he's going to attack me. Yep. There you go. Well, there's something to, you've got to play with now. Kid. Some dead geckos. They got a nice place here, though. You know, look. I got everything that... Ooh, the door has opened. Everything they need over here, probably the kid went inside or something. They've got Brahmin, I mean, it's pretty nice. Oh, that's Vic opening the doors. Well, let's see what we can steal from them, right? <laughs> let's also read the guns book. And now it's dark. Yeah, it must be kinda... Yeah, they've even got a well. 
Oh, and another shack. Oh. Radiation warning. What? What the hell's going on here? Let's go talk to the farmers first. Hello, farmers. You just keep your hands where I can see them. We've been plagued by bandits lately, and I think you just might be one of them. What do you want? Ugh. Your Relax is a bit. You're too stupid to be a bandit. Do you need supplies? Uh huh. Well, I guess there's no harm in that. Here's what I got to trade. <laughs> yeah, that's that's excellent. Wow, man, I feel like I'm in a. Okay, now get. What about her? Oh, yeah, the same thing. He relaxes. Yeah, it's a she. You know? Uh uh. Well, then we got no business. You just keep moving, then. What about the kids? Hello. Can't even talk to them. Okay. So what's going on over there? Is it just plays there so people don't go, you know, take a crap in their shitter or something? Yeah, that's just a shitter. Nothing else. You can usually use these, and sometimes you can open that, but nah, never mind. Keep out. Okay, let's go to Klamath and see if we can uh, recruit Solik. Who's probably our uh, better regarding intelligence. <laughs> uh, he's in uh, downtown. Alright, Solik. Where's this guy again? Hello there, friend. You look a bit perplexed. What you need is a friend here in town. I'm Aldo, the town greeter. <laughs> Bad smell. Go away now. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Very dirty robes. All right, so let's talk to Solik. What can we and I do you for? Uh -huh. Most people have evil spirits. You, you have stupid spirits. <laughs> Go see shaman. Get hole in head. Big hole. Very big. Huge. <laughs> no. Damn it. See. What can we and I do you? Most people uh -huh. don't want a hole. Go see Tor. He your spirit brother. He worked for Mado with no smiles, just like we and I. Uh-huh. Okay, what if you say the other thing? What can we and I do you for? Most people don't want a home. Huh? Oh shit, friend. <laughs> Slavers took our sister. We went drinking, then went breaking. <laughs> now paying off Mada. When that done, we go find sis. Ah. Uh -huh. We owe Mada $350. You're heading south? We'll walk about with you and look for sis. You having three hundred fifty dollars? Ah, look. Uh huh. Yeah, we be giving this to Maida, then we be free. Want us to walk by and by? Uh huh. We're there. Grandpa Bone <coughs> say we might find sis with you. Uh. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I didn't what know you could. Be needing? Og. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Well, that's excellent. Hello there. My name's Maida Buckner. I help my mother run Buckner House. Can I help you? Oof. Hmm, seems as though your elevator doesn't rise all the way to the top floor. <laughs> well, that's good. What you be needing? Ooga. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually see on the map where his, uh, you know, village is. And if we can uh, get him to... Well, if we can actually finish that quest now. Let's see if we actually have that quest. Uh, Umbra tribe. There we go. Find Solix's missing sister. You know, boss, I don't think I'll be coming back here when we were through. I can no longer call it home. Alright, let's uh, save this. Yeah, because Sulik is not bad. We can also give him some, you know, pretty proper armor. So where is it? Uh, Klamath Military Base, Modoc. NCR, San Francisco. Nope, he didn't jot it down. Brilliant. Nope. Doesn't say where his uh, village is. I believe it's somewhere over here. Let's let's see if we can actually find it on our own. Probably not, but would be cool. Ah, come on. Some farmers fending off some golden geckos. Sorry about that. You'll just have to be go uh, golden gecko chow, or cho actually, <laughs> chow. How many random encounters are there? A group of pig rats. Maybe I should farm XP here, you know, just have random encounter on random encounter and then just click no, for which you get XP. Because, you know, you've successfully used your, uh, outdoorsman skill. <laughs> Some cannibals. 
Lovely. Where is Navarro? I have to be careful of that place. Because despite the power armor and everything, they can still kick your ass quite a bit. I think it should be here somewhere, right? Hmm. Some cannibals again. Ugh. Ah, there we go. Nice. Well, oh, you know, a new area to quest in. Let's see what we can do. And how a stupid character works there. Oh, cool music. You have entered a densely wooded area. There is a narrow path leading north. What was this? Oh, just firewood. I think I need to actually collect some, right? But considering we probably won't get the quests anyway, I'm going to leave it for now. Loads of rats over there. Rats, scorpions. Can't be asked about those. We might get quests for them. Alright, that's where we need to go. Yeah, cool music over here, but a little different than uh, normal. This here be our village. We and I go speak with our friends. Oh? I don't remember this happening. Interesting. Okay. Are you... We do some buys and catch you up on the road out. Okay. You enter Umbra Shore, home of the Umbra tribe. You see many differences in appearances and the villagers' intents, as if not all come from the same place. Strong looking tribal. You been eating something? Who you guard? I be guarding tribe's holy leader, he who walks with spirits, much honor guarding him. Keeps out unwanted, like you. Now leave. Oh, I can't even go talk to them, apparently. I think you need to do quests for others first. Well, this guy looks completely different. Crom chuckles. Yeah, you certainly are special. He smiles and ruffles your hair with a hand that seems capable of crushing boulders. You like helping, huh? How would you like to be our tribe's special helper? I help. What do you need? No, uh, I help Arroyo. No time help others. Bye. <laughs> I help. We need pointy weapons. He points at his spear. Five spears like this. He holds up his fingers. Five. Also, we need ten. That's twice as many. Knives. Knives? You mean knives. He pulls out a knife and shows it to you. Like this, okay? Five spears, doesn't matter how sharp they are. And ten normal knives. Got it? Okay, I go find pointy things. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, we can actually get quests here. Like I thought we could. This well is probably broken. It's not working, of course it is. Be gone. I'm seeking counsel with the spirits and they don't like you, Outworlder. If you was, must speak to me, do it another time. Err... Uh, see if we can repair this. Um... Repair, please? What? What's he doing? Oh! Oh! I... I had Vic repair it because... Missing its rope and bucket. Oh, because I was... That's cool. Because he probably has a higher repair skill than I do. Do we have any ropes? No, I've sold them all. Brilliant. Awesome. There was a fish. Hmm. Wait a second, can't I just use the bucket on this? Mm, no. A medium-sized bucket used to haul water from a well. That's cool, though. Oh. A small young man dressed in rags. He appears deep in thought. Upon noticing you, he does a startling, uh, startled jump, then quickly regains his composure. Uh, yes, Outworlder, if you come seeking spiritual assist, uh, guidance, I'm afraid I'm not up to do it at the moment. Perhaps, perhaps some other time. <laughs> I scared you, boo! <laughs> yes, yes, very funny. Now run along, I'm busy. Turn to leave, then quickly whirl back around. Boo! Ah, d damn it! Get out of here! Go! <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Can we do it again? Uh-huh. Oh, it's you again. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. Look, I've got a lot of my mind at the moment. Perhaps I could help you some other time. <laughs> I scared you. Okay, the same thing. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Well, this is the shore area, right? You enter the western side of the village. Tribals with fishing poles move about. Boobies. Go away, Outworlder. Okay. Nothing here. Fisherman? Can we talk to him? 
The spirits do not like you. Halt! What do you want? Uh. <laughs> We're too stupid to talk to him. Despite him not uh, sounding the best. Junk. Has been ruined. What? This junk has been ruined by the contaminated seawater? Okay. Why do you plague us? I don't. I'm too stupid to plague anyone. <laughs> Wait, there's a spear here, right? Sharpened spear. I need one of those spears. There's a lot of fish. I wish there was something you could do with these fish. I can't even remember whether you can eat them or not. Uh, there's... So I need lots more of this stuff. Or do we actually need... I think we actually need to go out... Uh, into the world and get those spears and knives. Hmm. So let's see. Lots of sweat scorpions. Lots of these brock flowers and xander roots and whatnot. All that nonsense. Uh, there's a big rat scorpion there. Nothing I really want over there. Yeah, it's just lots of wood and such. Ah, I didn't want to fight these, but okay. Fair enough. No, who goes my eyes? Everything. Jeez. Okay, I'm still in combat. Blip, 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 blip. Hello, little scorpion. My little scorpion. Jeez. Where's he going? No, nope, there's more. Come on, big scorpion. Big scorpion. Not like it. <laughs> big scorpion, bad. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll still have to do that, you know, single episode with just Ugo. You search the bones. And... Oh, well, there's a spear. Yeah, well, well. Two spears. I need more knives and such, though. I know there's a knife over here. Well, there's two knives over here. So that's, you know, that's a start. And there's another body over there near those other scorpions. There's a shovel over there. Hmm. Can you actually, uh... Dig something up? We can always try. Well, in any case, we are going to continue next time, so... Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.